One treasure is false and one treasure is lost. That the tree at the heart is the only true cause. No war can be won without finding that root. No victory had without the yield of its fruit. In five days the treasure will bloom and fade, and all that was won could soon be unmade. Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome epic fantasy book for you guys today. Arusha and the Tree of Wishes, the third installment in the Pandora series by Roshani Chokshi herself, Rick Riordan presents, and well, let's get right on to it. As usual, this is about the three Pandora sisters, who happens to be Arusha, Minnie, and Bryn. They each are p reincarnated Pandavas, ancient demigod heroes who has the power of a specific god. And each of them has a specific weapon. The Arusha, the main character, has her lightning bolt. Bryn has her wind mace. And our dear Minnie has her death standing, which is like a magic staff. And this time, at the start of the bug, they rescue two people who are being chased by the sleeper's soldiers. And one of them can tell the future. Then they find out that both of them are pandas too. And finally, all five Pandavas has been united. But, 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 they, well, their job was to keep our dear Shia, who is the one who can tell the future, from spouting the prophecy in front of the sleeper's soldiers. But they fail in that task, and the Council of the Gods aren't too happy about that. And they think that just hearing the prophecy, the sleeper's army will have an edge over them in the war, and if the war is lost, basically everything will be gone, so that's not good at all. Then, they find out that, tr that the Tree of Wishes in the middle of the heavens is, an, is actually a fake tree. It is much much younger, and does not have any power to grant wishes. And in the prophecy, it said that one treasure is false. That meant that the, this, this tree, the tree of wishes, is false, and the other treasure, the tree, is lost. This means that if they don't find the tree before Holly, Arusha's favorite holiday, the world could be unmade. So, um, yeah, we have to go fast. First of all, they know that there is a clue in a crypt, a sort of magical vault bank thingy for demons and gods. And Arusha... And, and our dear new friend Rudy, the Naga Prince, together they try to enter the vault, the vault, the crypt, under false pretenses. And they finally manage to enter, and they find a wooden bird, and they barely escape with their lives, and they end up in a forest that they have no idea where they were. Then, what they did was that they got interrupted by an annoying god, the king of our birds for god's sake. And since he is the guardian of the little wooden bird that they have stolen from the crypt, you know, they were kind of messed up. But Boo, just in the nick of time, the pigeon came fluttering down and saved them from the wrath of the bird god. Yeah, the bird god. And so, they were good. And then they were given a clue that the message from the bird could only be read, written by moonbirds. And to find these moonbirds, they had to go to some forest, and with a little bit of trickery and a little bit of help from Vajra, who is Arusha's living lightning bolt, they go through, they find out about the clue, and they go straight up, straight up, to the Moon Palace. In the Moon Palace where Nikita, the only one, the, pa the other Pandava that they have just found, and the only Pandava who could tell where the Tree of Wishes is held, is at. So they go up and they play the Moon God's little game, and to be honest with you, it's kind of funny. The tables have turned. Yeah, you'll find out when you read the book. And they defeat the Moon God, and they take Nikita. Then they finally find out about the location of the tree. It is in a sort of botanical magical garden. 
and they find this garden and they find they almost find the tree of wishes and Arusha finally finds the tree of wishes. But then she finds out why her father, the sleeper, before he was evil, when he tried to fight his destiny, he tried to make a wish there, but he failed and he she realized why. Because the because the tree of wishes comes with a cost, and that will make you regret making your wish for the rest of your lifetime. And Arusha finally fights the sleeper, and she's absorbed, and she finds herself in the sleeper's house, whatever that means. And I guess we will find out in the next installment in the Panther series. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Very great book, has a little bit of that smell and ting of the old, good old Rick Riordan books from the good old golden age. And yeah, we all enjoy a little bit of Arusha's humor.